Okay, everyone, welcome back to my PS Home second take from 2009. I'm uh, leaving the movie theater now to f further continue in my exploration. Let's see what else it has in store for us. Here we go. So we're out of the movie theater. Let's see what else is available. What lies in store? Okay, we're out of there. What do we got over here? Is this the arcade over here? Where had all those games? Or this was else? this was the bowling alley. Yeah, this thing looks I wonder if it's it the same year. or if they've added anything There's new. Half the people on it. It's choppy as hell, man. This is bad. Oh, the game is gone. Remember, there was the game, the hovering game there. They removed it. So, so oh no, it's there. Oh, okay, you have to activate. Play this. It. Got it. So, so saucer pop is still in it. They they haven't removed that. Did they make it look better? I feel like it looks a little like better, that. right? Like the graphics of it. Looks like the, the saucer looks better. It has more colors under it or something. But maybe the they've hell? improved the game. Why did I die? <laughs> that was so random. We just saw Saucer Pop last week, so I, I think I'm going to skip oh, the Saucer Pop. Sharp things. I didn't even know there were sharp things. Yeah. All right, let's just skip okay, ahead. I don't want to watch this. We just watched at the game. end of the last week's stream. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, my God. Independence Day all over again. <laughs> I think they did. I think they improved the graphics of the mini game. It looks a little better. Time playing the shitty game. I mean, also, it could just be my. That I'm using a better camera now, too. I don't know. Alright, so what's over here? Huh? That dickhead point at me? Better not if he knows what's good for him. So let's see if they've added anything to this area here. Yeah, Remember, so did they add anything in the bowling alley? Last, last time it had bowling, uh, billiards, like and those, those fake arcade games that were just little mini, little mini game things. Free one up is online. You can't see it. My camera's blocking it. It popped up under me. Free one up is online. Shout out to free one up. If he's still out there making content, I have no idea. He was my first ever online Street Fighter rivalry. Basically, we were both making videos of Street Fighter 6 at the same time, and we were both known for doing that. And he laid out the challenge. People basically both of our fan bases were interested in seeing us play each other. So they laid out the challenge. It was a good, a good set, but Every time I tried to do one of those, it was laggy. In that case, I feel like I had the advantage because of the lag and I beat him. And then I went on to play the King Kindred and it was laggy again. I feel like he had the advantage in that one because of the lag and he won. So back then the connections were so shit, it was really hard to have serious online matches because it just wasn't up to snuff. You know, today you could probably pull it off a lot better with the, in the massive increases to net code and, and the better infrastructure of internet now. Hey, look, my one friend on PSN is online. Yeah, you threw it up with my one friend. Cyber TV says, I might be getting this confused with GTA Online. Did they add poker? I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't really remember. Oh, this this is like me going back and hanging Holy out with shit. you guys Almost. with doing this because I don't remember what we actually did in this. We'll find Slowed out. Loaded. <laughs> Almost. Getting there. Ooh, here we go. Now we're talking. Well, there's the billiards. That's ex exactly the same, it's pool, right? It's pool. It's lots of pool. It's still pool. Pool, pool, pool. They add? Did they add new games in here? Look, it's the same games from last year. Icebreaker. No, same stuff. Look. Echo Chrome. Carriage Return. Yeah, they're all the same. same shit. It's no different. Wow. They didn't add anything. Look, it's the same bowling from last year. Nothing new. What do we got over here? The same games. Awesome. What? Derek says, Free One Up's latest video was two months ago. It titled, M. Bison is coming to Street Fighter 6. M. Bison was his main in Street Fighter 4. Before that, his last video posted was seven years ago, and it was Street Fighter 5 ranked. And he didn't post since when M. Bison came out. That sucks. Well, I guess that I guess that's really not going to happen then, right? <clears throat> Sakai no Senshi says, TKK, the King Kindred, does still make videos. That's cool. That's cool to hear. Well, it was certainly worth it to come in here and see the same shit from last year. <clears throat> Nothing new whatsoever. Yeah, that was a waste of time. That was completely identical. Oh, so in, in nine months, they didn't even touch that at all. It's exactly the same. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get out of my face. It's Tuvok. Big Holy lag. Shit, it's Tuvok. Big lag. 
people floating in midair. That's great. <laughs> We've got a blank screen. What the hell is this? Looks like there should be something, but Why there's nothing there right now. Blank? <clears throat> That's really lame. <laughs> That's really lame. What do we got here? Ooh, got loud. What are they playing? I got Ryu and Ken. What does that mean? MotorStorm game launching. MotorStorm Space. Resident Evil 5 game launching. Resident Evil Space. Warhawk game launching. Warhawk Space. So basically, each day, the content in PS Home would rotate what they're playing on the screens. I guess these are newer games. Like Resident Evil 5 was probably coming out around this time. Okay. <clears throat> Check out There's the nothing going on, like real honestly. Right? They added the lobby you of the theater, do. but outside of you that. Don't have my cool duds. You're a bunch of losers. Actually, hold on, watch this. What the fuck? I didn't even do anything. Yeah, I own you suck. O'Doyle's rule! <laughs> the O'Doyle's? Remember that movie? What movie was that Another from? 35 the O'Doyle's rule. Lights. I can't remember what movie that my was. My precious hard drive filled up by nonsense. <laughs> Come on. So do you think the mall is any better or is it exactly the same? Billy Madison? What movie? Oh, Doyle's Rules from Billy Madison? It was? Wow. I totally forgot that thing. Huh. Oh my lord. Imagine doing this today and sitting around. Holy waiting. shit, they should just call it PlayStation Waiting. PlayStation <laughs> Waiting, now on PSN. If you got nothing to do, fucking check it out. Alright, so it's been a year. They be they probably have some cool stuff, right? Oh, this looks different. This looks totally different. Furniture, that's right. Don't yeah. get to buy shit here for real, like buy it with real points. Or with real, real money. money. Real money to buy Look at this. virtual Look at this furniture. Screen. Oh, what the fuck did I click? Uh, wow! Look what at the all hell? It's empty. Items. I'm excited now. Oh, there you go. Fight night round. Four. So Are you kidding me? It this long to load logos. Yeah, look, they won't load the logos. What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Damn, that shit's slow. <laughs> wow. They oh can't even Lord. load their own icons. It's too difficult to load all these icons. Cypress TV says this would work well as a saying, as a it? wait where well you game download or updates time killer game. So you're doing something else and you play this while you're doing it. Yeah. Fight night. Can you buy a <clears> ring or something? Club fight night furniture package. What do I? Five. Times. What's going on? Five dollars. Oh, there's a Tekken. Oh, there's PS3 troop, troop says the load times never improved at all over the years. And Sakino Senshi says the YouTube challenge series would be cool to have back. That was how I first saw and started watching your videos. The YouTube challenge series. I don't remember what that was. If you can refresh my memory, it's been a while. Oh, there's a Ghostbusters. What's this? Fan pack ornaments. What the hell does that mean? Look at this. Ha ha ha. Stay puff. Two dollars. Ornaments includes a coffee table size Stay Puft Marshmallow Man figurine, Ghost Slimer figurine, Ecto One miniature model, Ghost Trap decorative toy, and a PK meter decorative toy. Plus the I Got Slime green shirt, the Stay Puft Happy Black tee, and the Blue Ecto One tee. All are male and female. No Ghostbuster collection is complete unless you have the greatest Ghostbuster items now. So that's everything. So this that was timed with the release of the Ghostbusters video game. The Ghostbusters video game was coming out, so then they would time a pack to simultaneously release with it. If you like the game, you'll buy the pack. You'll use the stuff at PS Home. 
Okay. So it's a little crossover marketing shtick, right? And each individual <laughs> item costs like 49 cents each. So for two bucks, you get all this stuff. <laughs> Plus a t-shirt. This is probably the coolest thing on here. What's this Street Fighter 4 stuff? Oh, let me guess. You could dress as those characters, right? What is this? That's probably what it is. You dress as a the doll. character. No, it's just a doll? Really? It's a doll. How much is it? A dollar. Two dollars for a virtual doll to put inside your PlayStation Home apartment that no one will ever see. Are you kidding? Two fucking dollars for that? <clears throat> oh my god. Cypress TV says they could have had more community things. They invested in li advice of live comedians or a virtual meet and greet or with creators or developers. They missed an opportunity here. Uh, Derek, yes, we already talked about the Billy Madison reference. Thank you. We don't have to mention it again. That is insane. What, like the Ghostbusters pack was $2 for all of that stuff. This is $2 just for a single figurine. For a Street Fighter what the heck? Put in your virtual <laughs> room. Wow. $2. That is ridiculous. $2. dollars Who would do that? Wow. Who would buy a doll for $2? To go into a virtual room that you'll never see. The kind of sentry says they did eventually add in the ability to dress as a Street Fighter character. Some moron. Huh. So you know, the Ghostbusters, at least you get multiple things for two dollars. I'm not buying shit. I'm not stupid. What <laughs> else do they got? It's the home estates. This is different. They didn't have this last time, right? All right, look at this. The Vizari throne room. What else do they got? From Dragon Age? Vizari throne room, right? The Vizari or Dragon Ghost Age, Apocalypse right? Apocalypse apartment. <laughs> Ghostbusters firehouse. That's pretty cool. <laughs> On the set, lakeside cabin, summer house. Actually, the lakeside cabin looks similar to like Left for Dead. But how, look at this. The firehouse is dope. How much is that? Five dollars? Five dollars to go to the Ghostbusters cab or the Ghostbusters firehouse. Wow. A steel toothpick. Thank you very much for super chat. Says, I remember playing my PS home with my friends back in the day. Very nostalgic. I wish they kept the servers up for a bit like how they did with the crossovers. What's weird is that steel toothpick already did a super chat earlier. But yet this one again says it's his first. Stale Toothpick, are you making burner accounts to do individual Super Chats? <laughs> what is going on right now? Why would that be your first Super Chat when you literally just Super Chatted before? <clears throat> I gotta check this out. Yella, yeah, both of them say, let's celebrate the first Super Chat ever. So let me click on this first one. And this one says 24 subscribers, 39 videos, and it's been around since 2015. Okay. Then I go to the second one. It's the same account. So it's a glitch. That's bizarre. A weird glitch that made it look like it was two first Super Chats when actually they, it was both of the same per. That's odd. <clears throat> well, thank you, Stale Toothpick. I appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, I'm, so I'm glad to hear that you liked this. I, you know, for me, this was only just an oddity. I would jump in once in a while and check it out and kind of mess around. But I think some people really treated it as like a social network that they hung out on. So that's nice to know that people got that kind of use out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I did an original run of the Ghostbusters playthrough in tw that's 2009 like when it first came out. Then there was a re-release in full HD years later, 10 years later, and I did it then, too. So I played it twice, basically. Stuff. That's cool. Good game. Really good game. Of course, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just said I would maybe consider buying it. What's this now? Clothing? All right, what do they got in the clothing? I can't believe how long it takes to load, dude. I can't believe this. Wow. You can buy Kill Zone 2. Oh, look at this. You can even buy Ghostbusters Who's clothing. Ghostbusters outfit? Look at this. A bunch of yeah, shirts and their stuff. outfit. Yeah, they have their outfit too. See that? The actual Ghostbusters <laughs> costume. I wish for the whole Yo, Ghostbusters! 
Uh, Two bucks. For the pieces. 25 cents each. <clears throat> so That's just dumb. You can, you can piecemeal buy a piece of the costume, or you could just buy the entire costume. For two bucks. So why would you buy them piecemeal then? That's weird. Two dollars. <clears throat> These are all the t-shirts, yep. Ghost busted! What the hell is kill zone? What are they gonna have? Eh, just different hideous t-shirts. Lame How logos. Level five? Can you be freaking can you be Jill and can you be Chris Redfield, Wesker? No, you can buy shitty T-shirts. <laughs> look how many T-shirts! Oh my God, look how many T-shirts they have for Resident Evil Five. Do they even sell these T-shirts in real life? Am I consider getting? Look at that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get the shave his body. Like shave his body on a T-shirt. <laughs> wow. Let's get the hell out of here, man. What else wow. More for, uh, for the record, you guys must not have been here last week. Last week, I did all this stuff in P in this. Like, some people are saying, I wish you would do the pool or the bowling. I did. Last week on this stream, I did those activities in the game. That's why I didn't do them this time, because they're identical. I think the next time that I do it in 2012, the whole thing's different, and then I do a lot of new stuff. Furniture, if I remember huh? correctly. <laughs> are you kidding? There's a diesel store. Diesel, a real, real life a real clothing diesel line. diesel store. Yep. What the hell, dude? You're kidding me. Is Diesel, excuse me, is Diesel still in business? Because I remember uh, for, you know, when they were popular in like the 2000s. But I don't think I've seen a store in the last decade anywhere. So I don't know, if, is Diesel still around or did they go out of business? I wonder. There's a real Diesel store. I'm making myself you yawn. I'm yawning as I play. That totally happens. It's so, it's so, it's so, yawning is so, um... What's the word? Like, contagious. That if you see someone yawning, you'll do, I'm hearing myself yawn from 15 years ago, and now I'm yawning. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, they're in virtual space. <clears throat> what do they call this one? The Fonz? Holy shit. Two dollars? Two dollars for the Fonz jacket? Get out of here. The dude. Fonz jacket? Fucking Happy days. Diesel shit. That, really? They changed their name to Wind Farm? Is that true? Diesel completely rebranded, and they call themselves Wind Farm now? Oh. I didn't hear about that. I cannot believe people pay for this. Let's see what's on the second floor. You lied? Isambuga lied. He says, lol, joking. You jerk. So what happened to Diesel? Let's see if they still exist. Wait a minute. What am I doing on my phone for? I'm a dunce. I have a, a PC in front of me. We could just do it right here. They still exist. Shop clothing at Diesel. 40% off selected Diesel items. They still exist. Yeah, they still exist. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. What is this? <laughs> what are we seeing here? This is cloth There's clothing? It doesn't look like clothing. What's happening there? Yeah, they still exist. I wonder if they still have stores and stuff. Or if you just buy shit online. Oh my god. $175 leather belt, $450 camera high heel mules, yikes, $250 sunglasses, what about men's, hold on, men's shorts, $295 shorts, <laughs> Wow. So I guess the stuff in PlayStation Home was a steal. Uh-huh. $295 shorts? Who buys this shit? <clears throat> Dude, I'll fucking... I'll take a, a paper bag from the grocery store, shove my fucking feet through the bottom, and wear that shit out. $295 shorts. Look, what the fuck? Do these look like shorts? This is like pants... That are that were for someone who was very very you know not very tall. This is so weird. Who would buy that? These are pants in Mar Marvel three hundred eighty five dollars on clearance. What the fuck are those shoes? Look at that. <laughs> Yo, that's like Kingdom Hearts shoes. Look at that. Like chubby blocky ass shoes. 
Dude, their shoes are bizarre. Look at those shoes. They're all wearing bizarre shoes. Men, shoes, you all. What the fuck is that? Runner slip-on sneaker. What is that? Yo, that looks like it's made of like uh like like a a plastic. That's like a, an action figure shoe, right? It comes with your fucking action figure. You slip it on their foot. Those are terrible. Wow. These go art. This is this is good. These are nice. They're incredibly expensive, but these shoes look nice. This place is something else. Where's the where's the one we were seeing? There it is. Look at this. The Kingdom Hearts shoe. It's denim. The shoe is made of denim. Oh, really? Derek says he looked it up. Diesel filed for bankruptcy in 2019. If that's the case, I actually wonder if that's the real Diesel or if another company bought Diesel to get the brand and now they're selling different products under the Diesel name. How weird. <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, let's go a little further here. If we look apart, what the here. heck? Home stuff, like a home stuff. unicycle or drums. That's exciting. Random stuff costumes. for your house. Costumes, so you could dress up. I gotta remember I could do that shit now. I could easily just bring stuff up on my PC. We could look stuff up, you know, immediately. It's so much more useful than what I had used to do. Oh boy. Diesel was an Italian clothing up. company. What do we got? Italy, okay. Oh yeah, we got Street Fighter Four, baby. Can I be a character from Street Fighter Four? Find out. Yes, they had the outfits then. They had the outfits right then. Look at that. They're a dollar each. They're a wow, dollar so it's four each. bucks. It's four, four bucks to get a whole character. How about Blanca? <laughs> four bucks to be a character. <laughs> oh, Blanca's five bucks. Well, these are all five dollars. pieces. He's five dollars. Yeah. Like Blanca. Oh, this bullshit. What a They're rip. Geef. What a rip. What Dark Gullbox says, I just joined. Why were we looking at shoes? Because Diesel, the clothing company, had a store in PlayStation Home. So we were curious, do they still have clothes and do they sell it? Like, what do they sell? So we were looking. And it's exorbitantly expensive clothes. <laughs> Five dollars to look like Eve. Notice everyone on PlayStation Network looks the, the default. No one gave a shit and no one's paying to buy anything. <laughs> Good for them. The Gokin wig. This is a simple one, a three-piece, sir. The Gokin. Is a Kuma three-piece, too? No, he's a five-piece. Oh, Kuma, yeah, baby. that for every dollar. It's fucking worth Christ, you know Balrog's five pieces. I notice I'm yawning like crazy. I can't stay awake doing this, but... <laughs> now I'm going to yawn. I heard myself yawn. Now I'm going to yawn. Yeah. Mm. All right, enough of this. Wow. Ah, so you Chris, can't Chris this costume. Right Check that out. You just need there to you spend go. like $5 to do it. Oh, shit. Remove item. I don't want to buy that. Oops. Whoa, I'm a fun item. <laughs> no, thank you. Whoops. There's resistance out. Takano Senshi says later on they had the official character models from Street Fighter Cross Tekken added into PS Home for you to wear yeah. as well. How about Killzone 2? <laughs> yep. Be an asshole. Buy the Killzone 2 stuff. Enough of that. Wow. People well, spend well, right. money on the dark. Stale Toothpick says so this is basically the Avatar Store on Xbox but for PlayStation. The difference is you had to be in PS Home to see it. On, on Xbox... The avatar store, you see your avatar whenever you boot up your Xbox. So your avatar is going to get a lot of screen time. You're going to see them. You're going to get a lot of utility. In this case, it's a separate app you have to boot up and be participating in to get the benefit for what you're spending money on. So that's a harder sell for me than say, oh, I'm going to drop five bucks and deck out my avatar with an outfit I see all day, a little <laughs> creature standing next to me that he interacts with versus <laughs> having to actually do the PS Home you know, game experience to get this. What she said? <clears throat> furniture, no? More oh, furniture. furniture? Look at this. Even the people on the wall are bored. Look at them. <laughs> Even they can't stay awake. They're so bored. Look at them. They're super bored. Real estate. Yo, what are we doing up here? I don't fucking know. Did you get paid for this? Nah, I'm stuck on this wall. Don't want to get a fucking squeegee and get us off this shit. Come on. <laughs> wow. Threads, too. Wow. Twice as bad as Threads 1. I, I've, I've seen enough. That was great. ridiculous. Oh, there's chess here now. Look at that. Oh, this chess is new. That wasn't there before. Used to be chess. Should I play this guy in a game of chess? The game is occupied. Alright. You dick. 
There's only one dude there. It says game. There's is only occupied. one guy but the game is occupied. Right, what? Play chess by yourself. See how well you do. <clears throat> okay. Well, there's one new thing. Chess. That's it. If you remember, in 2008, this whole top floor was like the same exact stores, but now at least they've added more themed stores. So at least the mall is starting to like fill out, right? Okay. Well, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so tired from doing this. Um, unlike last time, I'm gonna try to check out the other stuff too. I think there's, besides this, there might be other places. Like I think there was an Uncharted bar and there were other locations. I don't know if they still exist. But I'm gonna try to figure it out. Uncharted bar? Is there an Uncharted bar? Maybe there is, I don't remember. You notice that no one doing this really understands what the hell they're doing. They're just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Kind of like I'm doing. Uh, everyone's like, wondering, what's the, what's the point? point of this? <laughs> Why am I exactly. doing this? We should do it at the same time. What's the point of this? Why does this exist? Why would I spend money? Ah, I got something in my eye. <laughs> Shit. All right, so I'm wondering, how do I get to those other places? Uh -huh. Locations. World map. CyberCV says, any chance... RTU will be walking around the mall with a camera looking high as fuck. No, but if you hear someone screaming at the top of their lungs that the quartering is a giant pussy, we know who it is, right? Luckily, there was no voice communication in this PS home because he probably would have done it. All right, so <clears throat> good stuff. Let's split the part. When we come back, we'll finish my 2009 run in PS home for sure. There's only this and one more video, so there's only like 15 minutes left. We'll have to see how it ends, if there really is an Uncharted bar or whatever. Um, and then go from there. We might have a little extra time to actually explore and preview 2012. We'll see. But uh, I'll see you in the next part, everybody.